Good morning. Welcome to Motorcycle Trails. Today I am going to show you a motorcycle from Royal Enfield Stable, which uh, has been made for the urban jungle. Here it is. We are looking at the Hunter 350. Uh, this is sharing the same engine with the Royal Enfield Classic 350, and uh, uh, just like the Classic 350 Reborn, it has a very nice torquey engine. The front is smaller. The foot pegs are a little rear set. Going a little towards the bar, your feet a little back, which gives you a very uh, engaging position. You are more engaged while riding, and because of that, uh, you really enjoy the bike. So, light and nimble. I would not say very light, but it is nimble. You feel that it is nimble, and you can just cut through, filter through traffic. It is a lot of fun. Uh, the saddle height is low, which is fantastic for most of the Indian riders. Um, it really makes the entire package very desirable. So many people who do not uh, love the classic 350 because of the classic looks, uh, they think that it is too retro. They are really liking this kind of a motorcycle. The things that I like about this bike are the look. Uh, it looks like a good modern retro bike. Uh, the the ergonomics are really nice. Uh, the sitting position is comfortable, but at the same time it is a little more uh, aggressive. It makes you a little more engaging with the ride and uh, you would be very keen to just filter this bike through traffic. The engine is definitely very smooth. I really love these new 350 engines from Royal Enfield. Uh, definitely a big step forward from the past. The overall feel of the bike is very nice. The seat height is low which is fantastic. I really love that fact as well. Couple of things which I am not a uh, big fan of on this bike. Uh, although these are small things, but still you should know. So the first thing is that the clutch is not light. Uh, at this price point and the, the target audience is mostly going to ride this bike in the city. I feel that uh, they would have really benefited from a lighter clutch. Maybe a clutch at this should have been added which uh, would make the clutch operation easier. Uh, other than that, uh, the mirrors I think Although they look cool, but uh, they don't give much of uh, view. Right now, if you see that the bike really picks up speed nicely, it it feels good. I I, I like these kind of bikes where uh, the sensation of speed is more than the actual speed. So the thrill of riding these kind of motorcycles is more. I really like the stance. Uh, other very good things that I liked about the bike is definitely the refinement after this new engine from Royal Enfield. The bike definitely has a much smoother engine and uh, it is good fun. It is really good fun. Other than this, uh, uh, the exhaust note of the bike is very nice. The bike is very agile thanks to the, uh, the smaller front now. So it is very easy to change directions on this bike. And uh, I like this minimalistic look of this cluster. However, I would have preferred if they would have given a drip meter along with this. Drip, drip meters are always uh, helpful. Braking definitely uh, could have been a little better than what it is right now. It is fine. It is not great, but it is just okay. It is. It feels very peppy. It really races to 60-80. Even with the pillion, I had gone uh, to Mahabaleshwar. So with the pillion, I could easily cruise at around 80 to 100 and uh, the suspension is also well sorted so uh, with the bumps and everything on the highway you know how the Pune roads are so it doesn't I mean obviously it is not like an off-road machine or an adventure bike but for a city bike the ride quality is really plush the seat is really good so for the rider and the pillion both the rider seat uh, really gives good support to you and uh, the pillion is also comfortable so in my 4 hour one way ride uh, the pillion was really comfortable no complaints and we had a great time we had a great time on the bike the bike is really smooth i i, I love this engine very smooth uh, decent power decent pickup very fun to ride overall a very nice bike good looks uh, great performance in the city great performance on the highways uh, definitely one of my favorites in this category of motorcycles my verdict on the bike would be very simple 
if you are looking for a modern retro styling bike and uh, you are looking for something which is very nice to ride very engaging then definitely this should be on your buying list ride it once and uh, i'm sure you will like it